Welcome back. 40% of the food that's grown in the United States is never eaten. Often it's tossed, ends up in the landfill, which can impact the environment. They're trying to do something about that at RIT. Josh Navarro reports. Experts here say that food waste has potentially higher biogas than any other source like agriculture and wastewater sludge. This forum, in efforts to find solutions to curb food waste in our community, came down to this. 100% utilization. Let's, we need to look at models where we produce the amount of food we need to consume as human beings to sustain life. And no more. McQuillan says that our culture allows people to see food as a wasteable item. The only opportunity for that food product to break down is to release gases. That's what's seeping out of our landfill today. And in, and in the instances where we're not capturing that gas, it goes into our environment. The speakers during this forum says it's going to take a lot more technology and policy trends that will drive future developments and efforts to divert food waste from getting to landfills. Some major grocery chains have already placed prevention efforts. We have food waste diversion in all of our stores. Uh, we started that program about 10 years ago. Um, so food waste uh, going to compost, uh, a process called anaerobic biodigestion where it's actually food waste converted into electricity. Um, so we're set. One of the food waste success stories they mentioned here was out in Oakland, California, where a wastewater treatment plant converted food scraps into energy. In Henrietta, I'm Josh Navarro, News 8. If you'd like to learn more about food waste prevention, we provided a link on this story at rochesterfirst.com.